Now, State House has denied reports that President Uhuru Kenyatta failed to get a 368 billion shilling loan from China, insisting that the loan was never in the agenda for the trip. A statement from the Chief of Staff Nzioka Waita has sought to explain away the change of plans as regards the standard gauge railway line construction to Kisumu. Our senior news editor, Noah Otieno, starts off our broadcast. What is urgent right now is to do the connectivity in Naivasha. Because, my dear, uh, we have the MGR going to all the way to Malaba, Kampala, you know, which is still active. And so what we are saying is, make that uh, line a lot more viable by connecting it to the SGR in Naivasha. Make sure that connectivity is done so that we do not lose any time. It was this surprise announcement from the Kenyan government team in China that got Kenyans talking, especially since the AU High Representative for Infrastructure, Raila Odinga himself, revealed that he and President Uhuru were going to China to discuss the extension of the SGR to Kisumu port. <laughs> When it turned out that the SGR will terminate in Naivasha for now, news headlines picked it up. But State House is not happy about the interpretation of what Cabinet Secretary James Masharia said. While admitting that the SGR construction to Kisumu will indeed not happen anytime soon, the Chief of Staff Nzioka Waita maintains that the change of plans was not occasioned by a failure to obtain a loan from China for the SGR project. He says that the SGR is a regional project and negotiating funding for its completion involves several countries and could take several years of talks. He further says that while the SGR to Naivasha will be completed by August this year, the government will rehabilitate the old meter gauge railway from Naivasha to Kisumu to ensure cargo can be moved all the way to Kisumu port without disruption of the flow. As Uhuru winds up his visit to China, State House says he was successful in the agenda he had concerning export of avocado from Kenya, the construction of an expressway from JKA to Westlands, Nairobi, and the financing for the Konza Data Center. Now, Citizen TV.